Hi guys, so today we are going to meet a very interesting personality, Mr. Rupesh Kumar, who is an IAS officer of 2019 batch. And I must say that in my interaction with him, you are going to get motivated for your UPSC examinations like never before. Hi Rupesh, welcome to this interview. Thanks a lot. So Rupesh, my first question to you is that according to you, what is the importance of education? I think I am the best person as per my view. To answer this question because as you know uh, the minimum qualification required for the UPSC is graduation and I lost my father on the first day of my uh, first year exam and all the relatives and friends are saying that what is the importance of study leave it and you just be a bread earner for your family but my mother stood that this is a dream of my husband and my kids must study and myself and my sister just gave the exam during that uh, rituals and ceremonies were going on and uh, along with the same uh, I went to my maternal uncle's factory and learned the art of preparing the monoblock pumps but uh, due to my mother only I am able to uh, graduate and uh, this is a requirement for UPSC and uh, this shows that how education can help you at any point of life. Right, so everyone who is watching this video I think should be motivated that whatever is the circumstance in your life we should all realize the importance of education because that is what is going to help you to open up your mindset to be able to do some things for the society and actually be a motivation for everybody around you. So do not give a reason instead find your why that why do you want to prepare for the UPSC examinations and once you know your why, the preparation will be as smooth as possible. You started your UPSC preparation after 14 years of graduation. So what was that one factor that motivated you so much to come back to studies after such a long gap? The thing is that I want to contribute towards the social good. But due to my family circumstances, I was not able to do the so initially, mm -hmm. right? And after, because my father was hospitalized, I view that doctors are getting motivated only when the head of the department is coming. Mm -hmm. And they are lenient towards mm -hmm. the, uh, the treatment of the patient, mm -hmm. right? And it hurt me a lot. Mm -hmm. That's why it is so. Mm -hmm. okay? But I am not in a stage and position that I will jump into the system and ask them why we are doing the same. Mm -hmm. okay? And after that, uh, when I uh, giving, gave stability to my family uh, after running a manufacturing unit, mm -hmm. I joined uh, Punjab government, Department of Water and Sanitation as a clerk. Okay. I realized that if you want to bring some change in the society, mm -hmm. you must be at a higher level. Mm -hmm. And seeing uh, my potential mm -hmm. and what uh, I am suggesting, my seniors motivated me that mm -hmm. I must prepare for UPSC. Okay. And then I start preparing for UPSC in 2017 mm -hmm. and uh, gave my first attempt in 2018 and I am sitting here in front of you. That's very nice Rupesh that your why, your reason was that you want to actually get into the system to change it and not complain about it from the outside. Absolutely. Right. So that's a really nice motivation for all the guys who are preparing for UPSC. Yeah. My second question to you is that there are a lot of people who give reasons that this is the XYZ reason why I'm not going to succeed in my exams or they keep taking that mental pressure that what will happen if I don't succeed. But I know about you that you are losing your eyesight every single day. So how are you coping up with that? Are you uh, ever, you know, tempted to give this as a reason for not succeeding in life or do you use it as a motivation? As you mentioned earlier, disability doesn't matter that you are disabled. Mm -hmm. uh, it is mental barrier which you have to cope up. So I think every person is differently able. Some are having mental barriers and some are having physical barriers. Initially, as you mentioned earlier, my vision was absolutely right. I am able to see each and everything. Mm -hmm. And during my, what my experience told me that, uh, people are having different attitude towards a differently able person. Right. I think I am gifted enough that God has taken my vision because I am able to understand both the sides of the coin. Mm -hmm. Now I can work 
and it it is possible that initially my vision was okay i may be arrogant towards a differently able person now i am focusing on both the aspects if the person is having mental barrier i can just uh, interact with them and try to bring them out of that disability also right so basically we are all giving reasons we are all facing with some or the other disability whether it is our mental disability or physical disability it's all about dealing with it not making that as a reason and coming forward and achieving what we intend to achieve there are a lot of people around you who have the potential but they don't have the circumstances in their life that they can prepare for upsc mm -hmm. so how is it that you are planning to help them or how is it that everybody else can help these people uh the answer to this question is very very simple we have to interact with each and every segment of the society being a class 1 officer we tend to ignore all the group a b and c level or d level even mm -hmm. what they are doing and why they are doing we just uh, uh, concentrate ourselves towards their job and ask them to do this and never realize what they can do mm -hmm. right i am sharing a incident of a previous job i was sitting uh, in my office one of my peon came to me uh, sir i am feeling so bad for you that you are having the potential but uh, you are not having your vision if you are having your vision you might be achieving other highs i said okay uh, i realize your concern but i am having uh, a thought of pity for you he said why if i i told him that if you are having the potential you are not a peon you are having the sight now i am not having the sight but you are telling if you are having the sight and you can read and study at when your parents are telling you you can achieve any heights and i am feeling here that many of the employees over here in the computer section the peons they are graduates but they are not realizing what they can do i think i am uh, the best way i am telling my friends also just to interact with them and just give them the idea that ups is one aspect but the other things are also there ssc is there each and everything is there why they are uh, concentrating on their job only if they are having the potential right so just because you have a job you should not stop studying you can always upgrade your skill and you should keep doing it because as you upgrade your skill you can do better for the society you can contribute more towards the development of this nation am i right right rupesh my next question is that because your family circumstances were not very good mm -hmm. so i understand that you had the pressure and uh, it was not in your hands to join a coaching class mm -hmm. right for upsc preparation so do you think actually coaching classes are necessary for upsc preparation uh in the present era where we are talking about technology technology is evolving on each and every day there are n number of platforms on youtube channels are there uh, and other apps google is there you can just study it from there which i did i maximize um, the potential i use the technology as a driving force towards my preparation i did all my preparation online and never joined any coaching center i initially when i i was not familiar what the upsc is and i went to a coaching center asked them i want to prepare for upsc and what i need to do they just told me in 2017 that you have to pay 150000 uh, for the preparation but i can't afford the same mm. so i just switched to the technology and started my preparation as we are witnessing today that students initially tend to get the information only from the teachers but in the present era the information which the students are getting is only 25 to 30 percent from the teachers mm -hmm. other sources are evolving why not to use those sources for our betterment right so basically using all that is freely available and not just going for the shortcut i would say mm -hmm. that people are looking for shortcuts where teachers will give them spoon feed every information instead we can actually make our own notes we can actually go online research we can watch various interviews like this mm. see the preparation strategies of lot of people and then formulate our own strategy which is working for us and prepare for upsc examination can you tell us something about how you made your own schedule 
what are the tips and tricks that you used for your preparation and how much time did you dedicate to your optional which was political science uh, i actually was working okay. while preparing for upsc okay right and i realize i realize one thing that i am just uh, responsible for myself and for no one else the race is with myself and with no one i am not having the peer pressure with the coaching centers provide to you i was not joined by any coaching center and that, another thing is that i started a preparation online which i told you earlier uh, i studied 2 hours in the morning before going to my job mm -hmm. and in the evening i studied 4 4 hours but dedicated study one source multiple time rather than multiple sources one time correct hmm. okay so i think you are dedicated and you were consistent in your studies and you focused on revising the same material constantly rather than running behind and confusing yourself with different kinds of materials available online right, right. yes so students i hope that this interview is going to help you a lot in your preparation rupesh any last message for all the guys who are preparing for upsc any last motivation sentence for them you just need to realize that why you are here why what life you are living and why you are living if you are here and just die doing nothing it is of no use for you you right. must leave your footprints and it will help not only you and so society also right so finding a very good reason that is going to help the community at large will help you to succeed in your upsc examinations all the best guys i hope to see you next week with another interesting video on preparing for your civil services examination thank you